Greetings MechWarriors, hello ladies and gentlemen, this is TTB speaking and welcome back to MechWarrior Online and today guys we are playing the Highlander 2C-A that recently got an update on its heat scale limit for PPCs. So this is a triple PPC Alpha Strike build complete with jump jets and a targeting computer. The engine we're using is a Clan XL Engine 325, then we have three ER PPCs, two in the left torso and one in the right arm and the rest is just three jump jets and and tons and tons of double heat sinks as you can see and that gives us a nice firepower of a 30 alpha plus 5 damage per ppc splash so uh, 45 alpha 58.5 kph speed and the heat management of 1.61 which means this mech will still be quite hot but uh, more on that later now if you look at the mech itself real quick you can see that the weapon mounts are nice and high in the side torso on the left side torso here but the right arm weapon mount is a little bit off to the side but still okay-ish i mean we still have to expose about 50 percent of our mech but since this is a long range sniper this should all be fine well that's about the build let's go into the skill tree and have a look at what we did there now in terms of skills, uh, firepower is important for us, we want to get as many heat gen nodes as we can get. I chose to, took, uh, to take all of them except the heat gen nodes on the sides here left and right. So we just go down the center left side and go down the center right side to get the double heat gen nodes down here. Then we go into the survival tree, uh, since we are duking it out at long range. We want to make sure that we live as long as possible and that means maximum armor, maximum skeletal density for the structural stuff in there. And that give, just gives us a little bit more trading power at range. Since we're not running around that much, we don't need mobility. Operations is very important to us. Of course, we have high heat generating weapons, so we want to make sure we run as cool as possible. So full cool run, full heat containment, and then auxiliary tree, of course, a double mana potion. Uh, that means a cool shot with the cooldown, as well as a double artillery strike or airstrike. And that should allow us to do some good damage and have some really enjoyable matches. And if you look at the mech itself, with all the structure and all the armor, we get 282 armor on the side, torso 61 structure. CT is 127 and 93 structure, so quite tanky and you can actually tank a little bit with your CT and make sure to protect that left side torso because the big PPCs are in there. Well, let's take this thing to the dropship and see how it performs. Alright guys, we are in Frozen City and it is capture zone time and that means for us this should be a nice map where we can test this mech on because we have long ranges, the map is cool running and uh, we don't have the enhanced zoom but I don't think it's gonna be necessary. We'll just try to stick to the sidelines and lay down fire permanently. We keep shooting, basically go with the good old Spaceballs tactic, keep firing assholes as much as we possibly can. So. Let's push into the, I would say, Fox 7 area. We know that the enemy assaults are probably gonna spawn up here-ish. Um, but there are some guys up front already, and that's a Hunchback, and he will take a shot to the face. And if he keeps walking straight, he'll take another shot to the face. Okay, well, he didn't walk straight, so he didn't take one more. That's an enemy dragon pushing over to the Fox 5 flank. Uh, we just keep going to a little bit of fire from him. Oh, that's a Supernova. One nice left tap, and we over out in the open, Echo 6. Let's give him another left tap here. Perfect. Now this, these shots are not doing full damage yet, of course, because we are a little bit above the 850 meters max range that we have, but uh, they're enough to be a nice wake-up call to the enemy that uh, some more good, nice and fiery balls of justice are coming in their way. Let's see, where is this going over? Can we find anything else? There's a dragon up top. This is uh, Warhammer to see, I believe, crossing over. And we have the perfect range to shoot, shoot at these guys, so that Marauder, for example, we shoot him, boom, done. So guys, you don't really need the enhanced zoom um, in most cases. The only exception, I would say, is very, very dark maps. Come on, dude, please get out of my way. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now I have to move, take some damage. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Let's try this again. There's a supernova again. Boom. Uh, I have no idea how these two shots just went into that uh, cover, but... Target uh, spotted! Somebody at PGI probably knows why that's the case. You have to be like you have to know on these maps uh, the the classic invisible walls and then not shoot into them if possible. I was hit on the hunchback. Not too much damage though. Let's drop the artillery strike. Give the supernova another lick. And keep moving. Keep moving. Always keep moving to new cover. 
this guy a nice left tap here with the PPCs on Hotel. Beautiful. And keep going. And as you can see, yeah, we can take a little bit of fire on that range. Uh, unless it's PPCs shooting at us, I'm not really that worried. It's my friend again. We shoot him again. We drop the artillery strike right at this spot if we can, uh, as soon as we can. Uh, I can't really hit him. That Nightjar is a little bit in cover now, uh, but his friend isn't. And the other friends aren't either. Beautiful. So we just keep firing. Very simple. Keep firing, assholes. Artillery strike online. Stop the Arty here. That could actually kill him if he ever exposes himself again. Oh, we keep walking. We keep walking to the side here. Don't have any kills on the field right yet, but that's okay. Yes. Back. Back shot into the summoner. Beautiful. Julia the dragon is coming up. We can give him a nice tap on the side. And now we can drop the RD right on their noses, hopefully. And shoot the hunchback. But not hit the right side torso, unfortunately. That's okay. Go back a little bit and shoot again at the summoner and miss. You have to learn the PPC speeds. It's, it's gonna take some time, guys. And uh, while you're learning, you're missing a few shots, but that's okay. Now we put the cool shot and we shoot the supernova again. It's just pacing back and forth. And uh, that's perfect for me because I'll just keep shooting him. Oh, he's, he's got lerms. Perfect. So. He probably can't even target me right now. Next we're gonna go on the Corsair, give him a little, give him a little scare here. Boom. That's my Charlie friend again, and we shoot him once more. Come on, shoot! There we go, he's almost dead, one more shot should do it on Charlie. Yep, he's down. Now we go in on Kilo, give him a nice tap on the CT once more. Again, I just hold this position. There's, there's no reason for me to move right now. Uh, that might be a reason soon, but that's okay. We just go in on the Hunchback. Take a little bit of fire here. That's all right, bravo. One shot to kill. Uh, I missed the one shot to kill, never mind. Teammate didn't though, so that's good. Now we go into the back of that Marauder, he's dead. Echo is pushing for us, a worm of bludgeon, and he shut down. Okay, we'll take that. We can just do it up with him. There's not much he can do at this point. We've got an enemy Orion downstairs, all right. He's definitely Target trying to come for me, or potentially my teammate over there. Target is there any other enemies that we can shoot at? Yep, the Corsair. Acquired. He's very far away though. So, let's see, where's my friend? Okay. My friend is dead, alright. <laughs> they might have worms. <laughs> he probably didn't check the, didn't check the scoreboard. There we go, there's the light. The light. Ah, I missed him. Barely missed him. Ah, he's in cover now. Come here, come on, come on. Come back here, little Corsair. No, the Corsair is dead, I'm sad. Um, well, that just leaves this one guy, which is the Wolfhound over there. We stayed quite healthy this round, I didn't get as much counterfire as I expected to get. Um, let's see how far the Wolfhound goes. Boom! There we go. A nice hit on his arm, and he drops. GG! So, as you can see guys, um, if you have a large open map like this, it's actually quite nice to play. You just stay on the outskirts, uh, stick with your team a little bit and just try and open up components and soften up enemy targets. And then you get numbers like this, 11 assists, 2 KMDDs, 1041 damage done and 4 components destroyed. And yeah, that was a that was a nice round. We've, we've got this build up to 1400 damage on the live stream, you should definitely check that out. And um, I will see you in the next match. Alrighty guys, we are back on a Mining Collective, that is going to give us a nice chance to see how this mech performs at closer ranges. And basically what we'll try to do is we'll try to find an angle, um, preferably up top somewhere where we can have a right peaking angle and then shoot at the enemy targets. Now we're starting on the side that might be beneficial for this and I think I've got my eyes set on a spot already. Uh, of course, what you can do in the beginning is you can jump up here on those pipes and then shoot into the middle. Uh, shut up, dude. Come on. There we go. So we can shoot up into uh, the enemy ramp here if you jump up here, but you can also take this position later on to try and uh, deny any kind of shenanigans in the center. And looking at the team right now, like re reading the team's movements, uh, they're not interested in taking top right now, so if I go there, I'm just gonna get shot to hell. So uh, instead of that, we'll just take this position immediately. Uh, there's, there's no reason in me taking any senseless damage. Uh, we might need that armor later on. Okay, so as I said, we're going to take this position right now. Uh, we will jump up here, pre-aim at the awesome, get around the corner, drop the artillery strike, shoot one guy and get into cover. While they are still 
bickering and annoying themselves, we will just try and find the next target, which would be this Highlander. Target acquired. Boom! Straight target to the city and back into cover and out of cover and we shoot and back into cover. Now we have to make sure that we don't hit into the foliage over there. Drop the artillery strike, come on. Shoot that archer and back into cover. And that's exactly what we'll be doing for the foreseeable future. I'm um, just trying to aim at these guys, trying to see where, where anybody is moving forward, for example, that Echo dude. Let's jump up a little bit, get a shot on these guys, get a shot in, artillery strike, hopefully, nope, we can't yet, never mind. We'll have to wait, come on, maybe nothing. Nope, okay, yeah, it's really hard to hit over these buildings, uh, unfortunately, but that's alright. It's a guy coming in behind my teammates right now with his archer, that's exactly what will stop right now. Behind you guys, Delta Archer with SRMs. There we go. Did some damage into him, so he can't go ahead and do damage to my teammates. And we will just keep this position. Go onto the Griffin. Give a nice shot. Even drop the artillery strike back there. To dissuade the enemy from pushing, or potentially do a lot of damage to them if they can choose to push. Enemies are dying, which is great. That's the Corsair. Another shot, and we hold this position. Moving to the side now, which means the Griffin acquired. is my next target. Boom! And to cover. Side throws to open. He does that once more, he's dead. Does he want to do it anymore? No. Oh, of course. Now I've got friends behind me. And by friends, I mean enemies. So we'll just stand here, put our ass to the back, and then take out his side throws, hopefully. Nope, I missed. Didn't hit him properly, unfortunately. Well, that's okay. Lima coming up. We'll move on over to this side. Now we've got the broadside to deal with. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, well, um, the added bonus that I'm getting for the, the team for all my troubles is hopefully some help. Uh, which, of course, arrives way too late to do anything useful. But that was expected. The good news is we're still alive. Right we still have one PPC, uh, which I will try and use to maximum effect. There we go. At least we got one more shot in. GG, 12 kills over 2. Uh, overall, very good performance on the team side, but as I said, the reaction time was a little bit low when they were pushing in on me. Uh, I should have called for help a little bit earlier. One killing blow, 7 assists, 1 solo kill, 2 KMDDs, and 703 damage done. Guys, this is an example of how you can hold an angle with this build, even at, at shorter ranges. But um, do be prepared for the enemy push that's gonna happen at some point. They will come for you because you have been annoying them for a long time. And uh, once that happens, once you see that starting to happen, that's the thing, the time where you have to get the hell out of dodge or go ahead and let your teammates know that you will need big support right freaking now. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. And if you would like to become an active part in supporting the success of this channel, check out my Patreon page and I will see you on the battlefield, on YouTube or on Twitch or directly in the game. Bye bye.